What is the first thing that you do before you start your practice? I stretch, I do my warm ups, I do some strengthening exercises, then I go into adus, then the compositions. What is your favorite ragam that you love that you can dance for at, at any point of the time? <laughs> Very tricky. Hamir uh, Kalyani, Behag, Desh, Kalyani. And your favorite piece that you know if you say impromptu perform, which one would you perform? So many favorite pieces, can't think of any, sorry. But probably my Behag Varnam, I really enjoy listening to it, dancing to it, teaching it. What is the most difficult, being a choreographer or being a, perform, uh, be, being a teacher? I think both are equally hard. Um, teaching is a lot of responsibility to your students. Choreography is a lot of responsibility to your audience and to yourself. So I think it's quite challenging and it weighs equally. But uh, uh, on yourself, I think being a choreographer can be a little more uh, uh, taxing. If you have a good student, teaching gets much easier. But being a choreographer, you have to think of your, your lighting, your costumes, uh, your stage. That's much more than the dancing aspect itself. So I think a choreographer would be a little more uh, difficult. Tell us a little bit about Abha and Nagamandala and what has the process what does the process mean to you or what has the process meant to you so far? Uh, so Abha was one of the first uh, trio productions that we did so it's special in that way and it's uh, we enjoy dancing Abha because it, it's the traditional Margam format and we are very comfortable with the format we are very comfortable with the pieces uh, in the Margam uh, so Abha is feels like home to be honest when you dance it um, Nagamandala is a little bit more challenging in terms of concept, choreography, even the uh, execution because it's completely non-mythology, it doesn't have a proper framework like the Margam. Uh, so, it, it's, so everything that we created needed some sort of reason of why that movement came or why that sequence was there. So it was challenging in that way but I think for an audience it would be really uh, interesting to see both the uh, traditional, the contemporary approach to the traditional and the completely contemporary work. So uh, when you come to watch the performance, it will be two completely different thought processes uh, and, the, and what you get from both the productions will be completely different. So come with an open mind uh, and see what you get from it. Thank you so much. We really look forward to watching Abha and Nagamandala and all three of you sparkling the stage tomorrow. Thank you so Looking much. Looking forward. For your time. See you all there tomorrow.